Welcome to Seed to Life. Today we are going to learn about another flavorful and medicinal herb, culantro. Even though it tastes like cilantro, it is hardly known to many people. But this herb is very popular in tropical America, Caribbean islands, West Indies, Trinidad and Tobago. It is native to these regions and grows in the wild under trees and near shaded pathways. This is my first year of growing culantro and going forward I don't think I'll ever stop growing this herb. So let's find out more about this medicinal plant and know how to grow it successfully in your home garden. The botanical name of culantro is Erinchium fetidum, but it is known by various names such as shadow bany, spiny or serrated coriander, broadleaf coriander, bandania, ricao, fit weeds, chandran bany, culante. There are many more names and depending on which part of the world you are from, you might know it differently. Traditionally, culantro has been used for various illnesses that include fever, chills, vomiting, and diarrhea. The decoction of roots and leaves is used to treat diabetes, malaria, pneumonia, and constipation. In India, chewing on roots is believed to cure stomach pain and treat scorpion stings. In Jamaica, culantro is used as a traditional remedy for con convulsions. So far, this tiny miraculous herb was famous only where it was grown. But now, due to increased globalization, people live in countries far away from their motherlands. And like me, most of us miss the food from back home. That is how the search for such less famous plants begins and such local plants soon become internationally famous. That is what is happening to Kulantro currently. I don't remember seeing the herb a few years back in the grocery stores, but now it is very common. Let's explore the nutrition content of Kulantro. Other than calcium and iron, Kulantro also contains several multivitamins like vitamin A, B2, B1 and C. So if you are a cilantro lover, then you can try to include this aromatic medicinal herb in your diet. In my comparison video, we saw how cilantro and Kulantro plants look different. Kulantro is actually much more pungent than cilantro or you can say more flavorful if you like that smell. During my research, I came across an in interesting article that talks about how certain genes may be responsible for you being a cilantro lover or hater. So if you don't like the smell of cilantro, you may be able to blame it on your olfactory receptor genes, which influences the sense of smell. Both these plants belong to APHA family and contain similar phytochemicals, terpenes, linalool and pinene that give them that distinct flavor. Like cilantro, you can use culantro in a number of ways. You can use it for garnishing, making chutneys or sauce and many more things. Let's see how to grow this underappreciated herb now. Culantro just like cilantro quickly bolts and once it starts producing flowers and seeds, the leaves grow smaller and smaller. So the best time to start these plants is in early spring as soon as the frost gets over. Culantro seeds are tiny black in color. The seed germination time is 14 to 28 days. Initially, the plants are very sensitive to sunlight. They also grow very slowly. So start the plants in semi-shade area. Growing them in shade allows you to harvest broader leaves for a longer time. Kulantra prefers heavy soil with proper drainage. These plants grow well in acidic soil with pH between 6 to 7.5. Mixing this soil with good quality compost is a good starting medium for these plants. But it was my first time growing culantro. I started my first plants in my aero garden system and got a beautiful harvest of broad and long leaves. Culantro is a biennial plant that means the first year it grows leaves and then in the next year it starts developing flowers. As I said earlier, I started plants in an aero garden system and then moved them in the garden. But the sudden change in the environment and direct sun quickly put the plants into bolting. This is what happens when plants are stressed. They tend to produce seeds. So in the first year itself, I could see the flowers and harvest some seeds. I have started more plants from seeds and currently keeping the tiny plants in semi-shade area to avoid bolting. A chemical known as pro gib is sometimes added to the soil to prevent the plants from bolting. But I prefer my plants grown as much organically as possible. I avoid such chemicals. The leaves of culantro are sword-shaped with serrations at the edges. They are oval in shape and shiny. 
This is how the flowers look. They grow in clusters and form umbels. And now let's harvest some culantro leaves. A big thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel, see the lights, and share my videos. Media links are posted in the description. See you again. Bye.